Hi, I'm Robert Evett. Well, as modern technology has progressed, once huge clunky things have become smaller and more convenient, and that's been the way the world has been progressing for decades, and everybody figured that's how uh, things would keep going. Well, forget all that, because check this out. It's the Samsung Galaxy Mega. It's got a 6.3 inch screen, which makes it just less than an inch smaller than the iPad mini, and wow, big, I, uh, let's just review it. So yes, big, giant, it, oh wow. I mean, just, here's an iPhone. It's David and Goliath, so, whew. All right, so, well, once you get over the sheer humongousness of it all, this looks to be a fairly typical Samsung phone with the somewhat cheap feeling back. You've got the camera lens poking out a little bit there, so it's all right. Um, it won't quite fit in all of the pairs of pants I own, so, and in some pants it feels a little strange for me to walk with its sheer bigness, so be aware of that, but, um, yeah, so the size is definitely the central gimmick here because you open it up and it's pretty much your mid-range Android Samsung experience. I mean, you've got the Samsung skin, which is reasonably smooth, not quite as smooth as uh, Google's Android skins, that's okay. You've got uh, a bunch of apps, some of which you will never use, uh, some of which you won't. Uh, the phone operates fine and and the, the screen is uh, good for uh, for surfing around on big things. Here's the Tulsa World website. Uh, you're definitely going to need two thumbs to uh, to get around with it, but uh, typing's a little easier, so there's that. Um, unfortunately, as I'll show you on YouTube, the quality of the picture screen uh, isn't exactly the, uh, the greatest. I mean, um, oh, what's this? Um, I mean, as you can see, I mean, these colors are supposed to be really vivid, but they're not quite as vivid as, uh, as you'd like them to be. So keep that, that in mind. Uh, now, the other thing is that the, uh, the camera options are very, very basic. I mean, you've got next to nothing here. I mean, if you want a point and shoot, you know, that's fine. The picture quality is okay. But if you want anything anywhere remotely more complex than that, just forget it. Um, the battery life is surprisingly good, however. Um, I've, uh, for all the size and everything, it didn't take a noticeable hit on the, um, on the power, so uh, kudos for that. And uh, even though the rest of the features besides the size are just pretty thoroughly mediocre, uh, AT&T selling it for um, about $150, which is nice. So I encourage you to go and experience the hugeness for yourself and if it's if it's something you want and your clothes kind of accommodate it, it's it's not bad.